Hello Libra, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week of July 2020. So it would be Monday, July 27th to Sunday, August the 2nd. And uh, I'll be using the Aquarian Tarot deck as well as pulling one card from The Universe Has Your Back. I've already pre-shuffled the deck and I'll shuffle a little more. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That helps my channel. And if you want to show appreciation through donation, I have a link in the description box below. You can uh, send me a donation that way. Uh, much appreciated if you do. Uh, leave me your comments, give me a like, and share, and uh, let's see what the cards have for you, Libra. What does Libra need to know for the last week of July 2020? Alright, let's see. The first card is the Ace of Rods. Second card is the Six of Cups. Third card is the Two of Rods. Fourth card is the Page of Cups. Hmm, Rods and Cups. <laughs> Love and Passion for you? Let's see. Okay, the bottom cards are the Chariot. Six of Rods, Ooh, Ten of Swords, and Temperance. Oops, let me position these cards. And one card from the universe has your back. to jump you here. One more shuffle. Okay, so it says attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. I think this has to do with um, this Ten of Swords. I feel like um, whatever built up to this Ten of Swords, you know, backstabbing, betrayal, or just like being at your very lowest, I feel like that is definitely over because all the other cards are quite good. So I feel like maybe it involved, uh, for some of you, it involved uh, expressing yourself uh, with that um, calls for help. Hmm. Temperance can also be about healing. So we have two major arcanas here. We have the chariot and we have temperance. So tens are about endings. So it's definitely the end of any kind of suffering you've uh, experienced. And when there's an ending, there's a new beginning. And we do have a new beginning here. We have the Ace of Rods. So this is brand new uh, beginning in passion, creativity, uh, having a strong will to pursue something. So that's really good. 
and um, this either relates to a personal relationship or it could be um, something you love to do, something you're really passionate about. So you'll know how it fits in. But there's a, an element of nostalgia with this. So either you are um, deciding to move forward in something you've always wanted to do. Maybe even as a child, you've already always had this dream and so now you're ready to to take that dream and move it forward. Either that or uh, there's someone from your past returning or you're returning to them with that Six of Cups here too. Um, It could very well be that um, if we're talking relationship, someone from your past is, uh, they're thinking of you, they're, they're reminiscing about you, and they want to start something with you again here. This person with the Two of Wands, uh, this could be someone at a distance. Um, and they're thinking of you, and they, they have a lot of passion here. They want to reignite the passion with you. It could involve traveling because of the chariot here, or it could just mean that um, this person now knows exactly what they want. This is your mind and heart uh, coming together and uh, moving you forward or moving them forward. This um, also talks about success. Having success, this person wants to uh, win you over. You see we have the Six of Wands here too. This is someone that's overcome uh, competition or conflict and um, they are on top. They've come out on top so um, they want you to recognize them, or vice versa, right? We have two sixes here, six of cups, six of wands. Whoever this is, you or them, they want, they want to be the one for you, or you for them. They don't want any competition. They only want, to, they don't want to share you with anyone. That's what I'm feeling here. And uh, this page of cups is an expression. It's a, a growing a feeling of love. So it's not just a sexual kind of thing. This is love too. So we have these two cups here. This is um, pure, innocent love. If you've known this person before, it's quite likely uh, that feeling that you had for each other, were you for them, were them for you, uh, many, you know, a, a, quite a while back, it hasn't changed. It's still there. It's still the same. And if they veered off, they're coming back to it. Vice versa. Uh, temperance. Whatever you do or they do, it needs to be approached with a sense of balance. Um, so approaching it in a very uh, sensible way, practical, but follow your heart at the same time. There's healing. I feel like there's some kind of healing that needs to happen here. So it may be that um, you need to express your feelings, the good and the bad, but in a very responsible, balanced manner. If, if you didn't feel this kind of pain, or they didn't feel this kind of pain, or both of you, 
then that would tell me that this connection that you had in the past wasn't very meaningful, but because it hurts so much, tells me that there's a lot of love there. So that's, um, that's the good side of that Ten of Swords here. Now if we're talking uh, career, vocation, uh, hobbies, whatever, it could be that uh, you had this passion, uh, a real love of doing something in the past. It brought you a lot of joy. It felt right for you. Uh, maybe something happened where you were betrayed or you betrayed yourself. You, uh, you didn't listen to your calling or someone... Um, interfered with that and so now you're ready you're ready to do what's right for you you're ready to go after your passions and your dreams you know you may have been afraid in the past of failure or um, you know it could be any number of things but um, with these cards, it tells me that the, the likelihood of success is pretty good with the Chariot and the uh, Six of Rods here. And you can gain recognition for your creative uh, talents, your passions. Because it's something that is um, that comes from you here. It's uh, a natural talent, a natural ability, a natural uh, pull towards this vocation, this thing that you can do. So let me know if this is your story. Leave me a comment. Give me a like. Don't forget to look at your moon rising and Venus signs as well for additional information or alternative uh, information if this doesn't resonate and also it's good to look back at the reading in a week or so just to see to compare with uh, events that may have happened between now and then so uh, have a good week and we'll see you for the following reads bye for now Libra